Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I got a really, really cool mod to show you guys for this little showcase. And this is a mod called Arrival for Halo 3. And it's made by my friend Crisp, who actually has helped me with a few mods in the past. And is currently helping me with some uh, upcoming mods, which you'll see eventually. But, anyways, this mod, well, as the title says, it is pretty much a Halo 3 nightmare come true. So for the longest time, you know, ever since like Halo 3 came out, or even like back with Halo 2, I remember like people have briefly talked about it back then too, but a lot of people have been wanting a flood horror Halo game. You know, a whole Halo game that's just where you play as like a Marine or like a Spartan or something or any character, but like, you know, you take on the flood. Kind of like Dead Space almost, but you know, in Halo. So that has finally happened thanks to this mod. And it's a really like, it's a really high quality mod actually. And I definitely recommend you try it. And if you do want to try it, the link is in the description down below. But if you can't try it or you just want to watch it, then you know, feel free to stick around and see how it goes in this video. So this mod starts off pretty much the same as, you know, the cutscene arrival, the, the intro to Halo 3. Except there's a few differences. It's it's set at nighttime, and the atmosphere is a lot more creepy. And there's one big problem: Master Chief has died. He did not survive the crash. He did not survive his fall from uh, Truth's ship. And now, since Master Chief is dead, you are now playing from the perspective of a Marine in third person. And unfortunately, Arbiter and Johnson are staying behind to make sure Master Chief is uh, extracted. So it's just up to you and your squad of Marines to go on ahead and clear out any uh, any enemies up ahead. Which seems like, you know, an easy task, except something happened. Something crash landed nearby, shaking up the entire place. And it has all the Marines freaked out at this point. But nonetheless, you still have your... Uh, you still have your orders and your objective to complete. So, from this point on, we proceed through the mission. Now, it's the whole atmosphere of this is actually really cool. Like, not only is it set at nighttime, but you know, it, it's just everything about it like works. Like the, the lighting and everything, it, it just all adds to this like really dark and eerie atmosphere. Plus, uh, Chris even changed like the music and the soundtrack. So like all the ambient sounds and everything, all, all are like the creepy sound effects from like missions like Floodgate and I think even like Cortana. So, you know, all of that added together, and even like dialogue has changed as well. So it's it's like a full, it's a full campaign. It's it's not just the mission Sierra 117 or Arrival with Flood. It, it's like there's a lot of custom scripting to this, a lot of um, just a lot of custom changes all around and. You know, it, it works, it turns out, it turned out pretty well, I think. Uh, but anyways, moving right along. So now, as Marines, we've encountered some Covenant back there, but most of them are dead, and there's no more Covenant here, which uh, something is clearly very wrong. And up ahead, we could see what happened. A Covenant ship has crashed. But there's something wrong with the ship that crashed as well. And... Once we get a closer look, we can see that the issue with the Covenant ship, the problem, is that it's been taken over by the Flood. And, well, you can see like the Gravemind tentacles are like around the uh, Covenant ship, and now Flood combat forms are attacking us and swarming us. So, now your duty, your task as the Marine is to survive as long as you can against uh, several waves of flood combat forms, and it's actually uh, it's actually pretty fun fighting the flood as a marine. You um, you're not as strong as a Spartan, so you gotta be careful not to take as many hits. Now, me, I'm actually playing on easy difficulty, so it's uh, <laughs> it's not as dangerous for me. But if you do play this and you play on a higher difficulty, do keep in mind that you are a marine. You are no longer a Spartan, so. Gotta watch out for the uh, the flood. But you know, at this point, now your squad has called in for extraction from a pelican, and you're told that you have to 
you know, find some cover and just hold out as long as you can until your ride arrives. And like I said, there'll be a few flood waves that you gotta fight off, but eventually help will come. So I know like there are some people out there working on fan-made Halo games, like fan-made flood horror games for Halo, but you know, this is a, uh, this is actually really cool to see see like that concept, the whole flood horror concept in action, uh, and quite you know very accessible to a lot of people as well who have the PC version of MCC. Uh, so you know, in case you're wondering, unfortunately this only works for the PC version. There's no way to install mods for the Xbox version at the moment, but maybe in the future, they might allow that to be possible. Kind of like you know Skyrim and Fallout on Xbox. But yeah, so. I really do hope, like, you know, like, this concept is really cool, and I really do hope eventually 3 for 3 would do, like, some kind of, like, actual flood spin-off game for Halo. Maybe, like, for Halo Infinite, since it's, like, a 10-year plan, maybe they'll have, like, campaign expansions, and, like, those expansions could be spin-offs of the story, and one of them could maybe feature, like, a flood horror campaign, or an entire standalone game would be, like, awesome as well. But either way, I've, I've always wanted like a dedicated like flood horror game and this is a really great, you know, example of what that could look like. But anyways, we've fought off in the flood now and our ride has finally come. So we just need to get on the pelican and, you know, it seems like we're saved, right? All is well. All is good. Well, it, uh, it does seem that way first and you do get on the pelican. And I actually called that this next part would happen, but as you are um, as you are flying away, everything you know everything seems fine. You finally escaped the danger of the flood. When one of the most annoying flood forms from Halo One, Halo Combat Evolved, the Rocket Flood, you know the super accurate like almost never misses Rocket Flood, shoots a rocket at your Pelican, and well, you get shot down, and. Unfortunately, you uh, you did not escape safely, <laughs> and there's no way to uh, there's no way to change that outcome either. <laughs> so what happens next is your marine that you played as actually does survive, but you're probably gonna wish that you hadn't, <laughs> because you're pretty much in mobile now, and in a distance comes the flood, who infect your uh, your dead allies and the rest of the flood combat forms also arrive so what can you do well absolutely nothing at this point all you can do is just sit there and watch as the flood arrive hence the name arrival <laughs> and that basically is the uh the whole mod it's a it's a short it's a pretty short one. It's uh, it only takes you like a few minutes, like five to eight minutes to finish, but nonetheless, it's a really cool concept. It's really cool gameplay of a flood uh, horror campaign. So definitely recommend you guys all check this out. It's a really cool mod to play, and if you can play it, like I said, definitely give it a shot. But aside from that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. As always, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave thoughts and comments and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys